Kia ora Aotearoa, here is the Wednesday update to severe weather around the country. Now over like last night, heavy rain did continue to fall across parts of Northland and Auckland. Broadly speaking, the Northland region got rainfall that was kind of at the bottom end of the forecast range. And that's good news, they didn't get as much as they may have. That said, there were still some pockets of very heavy rain, including around 30 millimetres in an hour that moved through Whangarei late last night and caused some flooding and some trees down in that region. Then through the night and particularly uh, very early this morning, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, a band of heavy rain crossed through Auckland, brought 60 millimetres further rain over the course of a couple of hours to parts of the Auckland area and we saw that ex uh, made for extensive further flooding, some broad landslides covering some large roads in Auckland as well. So do take care out there if you're travelling and do try and minimise those movements across the city. For now though, the heavy rain has cleared out of both Northland and Auckland and in fact the rain band has become a little bit more patchy and scrappy but it is still expected to pack a bit of a punch across Bay of Plenty and Coromandel through the next several hours. And we have maintained red rain warnings for those areas. This is the Coromandel Peninsula warning goes through until this afternoon with that uh, red warning in place until 4 o'clock. Over that time we can expect another 50, 60, 70 mils to fall on top of all the rain you've had already. It is going to be pretty wet. Thunderstorms are possible and they could deliver some intense hourly totals to parts of the Coromandel, especially up in the high terrain. It's a similar story for the Western Bay of Plenty. The red warning is in place from Kawero westwards. It does include Rotorua and Tauranga. The rain here will go on a little bit longer, so that warning is in place until 9pm, and it's possible we could see another 100 mils through parts of that area, although it's likely that only isolated areas will get quite up to 100. It's more likely you'll see 50, 60, 70 through this broad region over the second half of the day today. There is still an orange rain warning in place for the eastern half of the Bay of plenty, so that's from Kawero eastwards all the way to the northern tip of Gisborne here. That's looking at rain throughout the day today and through the first half of the day tomorrow. So this is quite a long-lived warning until 10am Thursday morning and it could see 100 to 120 through that region. And there's still a couple of heavy rain watches through the afternoon on Wednesday around the uh, central and western North Island, including parts of Waikato and parts of Taranaki. That's the rain for the North Island, but tomorrow our focus is going to shift to the western in South Island as rain picks up. Well, it's late tonight, but it's really Thursday when the heavy falls will start to hit the western South Island. Eases off for a while on Thursday evening, but it doesn't ease for long. Another band is coming on Thursday night. So we've got a warning in place for Westland, south of Ortera. It runs from 4 a.m. on Thursday until 4 p.m. on Friday. So that's a full day and a half. It's kind of covering two different spells of rain, though. There is a note in the warning. Rain will ease for a time in the middle there, but we start the warning, we finish the warning with two spells of heavy rain over that time span. Big numbers that we're looking at for the Western South Island. 200 to 300 millimetres of rain, primarily up in the ranges, could see around about 100 down at sea level. This is going to kick off a very wet stretch for this part of the country. So although the warning only goes till Friday, further pulses of rain are expected through the course of the long weekend. Two watches are in place for heavy rain across the South Island too. Up here in the far northwest around the Tasman area, that's a watch for Wednesday. Day. It's raining there right now and will continue to do so for several more hours. And there's a watch in place for Thursday and Friday for northern parts of the Fiordland region. As per normal, all of the details for all of these watches are available at metservice.com and they're being monitored and updated as necessary. And that is it from me everyone. Stay safe. Kia pai te ra.